The Lethbridge Hurricanes have hired another assistant coach. Former NHLer Mike Craig will be behind the bench, joining head coach Drake Barahowski and assistant Brad Lukowicz. He played more than 400 NHL games with four different teams and spent plenty of time in Europe as well. You want a man that knows how to win championships? Craig has won the World Juniors, the Memorial Cup, the Spengler Cup, and the Austrian Championship twice. So, excellent addition there. The Medicine Hat Mavericks are now on the brink of elimination after suffering their second straight loss against the Melville Millionaires last night on the road. The Millionaires topped the Mavericks 3-2. Medicine Hat will try to keep the WNBL Championship Series alive tonight in Game 4 at 7.05. The Calgary Stampeders front seven will have a tough time trying to stop Andrew Harris on Saturday night in BC. DeMonte Bolden is part of the defensive line for the Stamps. Their assignment will be to stop the run. Bolden has always been good at that, but now he's added another dimension to his game. Bolden is getting to the quarterback. He has three sacks this season, including a big one against Darian Durant and the Riders that turned the momentum of the game around last Friday night at McMahon Stadium. And Bolden is feeling more and more confident each game. As I say, I was here last year. Uh, got here this year into the system. Uh, got my pass rushing ability uh, right. And uh, Coach K Clay Brooks counted on me to do a job, and I'm doing my job. Well, you know, you want to be a complete player. You don't want to just known to be a run stopper in the CFO when it's a passing league. <laughs> so that doesn't translate in longevity in the career. So, But he does a good job of, you know, working on his craft and getting better, and he knows his weaknesses, and he does a good job of trying to minimize his weaknesses and make those strengths and then whatever he's strong in to try to keep getting better at that as well. Devon always likes to wear the hat just a little off to the side. Good palo bars, too. Stamps on the Lions. 7 p.m. Saturday night from B.C. Place. From the Canada Games in Sherbrooke, Quebec, Medicine Hat product Sage Watts captured gold at the Canada Summer Games in the 400 meter today. Congratulations, Sage. And now here are the latest medal standings. Ontario now has a big lead for top spot with 151 total medals with Quebec in second with 114. And Alberta is in third with 80 medals with 25 gold, 31 silver and 24 bronze followed by BC, the Nova Scotia, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. The Shaw Charity Classic is just a couple of weeks away, and golf fans all over the province can't wait. The best from the Champions Tour will tee it up at Canyon Meadows from September 28th to August 1st. The course is in fantastic shape, and it should be a great tournament, something Calgary can really get behind. Obviously, when, when we had Freddie announce, and then Nick Price, who doesn't really play a lot of events, he's just come back from injury. Having those two guys as President's Cup captains this year, it, uh, it's creating a bit of a buzz. So, um, yeah, we've got a great field, and obviously we've got some great charities that we're supporting. The beautiful thing about why the PGA Tour wanted to come here is that our golf course was turnkey. We didn't have to do a lot to it, so it's in good shape. We've done a few little things, like a second cut in the caddy trail. Other than that, though, it's almost status quo. It is in great shape. It look, just really looks beautiful with all the, you know, the grandstands coming up there and all the little signages and all the little touches. But it's, uh, it's coming together, and, but the golf course is playing great. The golf course does look great, but Fred Couples and crew, they're going to put up some big numbers. Maybe you're not brave enough to try this yourself, so living vicariously through video is the next best thing. This brave rider straps a GoPro camera to his head, gets his bike up to speed, and then launches himself off a massive jump. Oh, massive jump. It takes a few seconds before he makes a big splash below. Hard to say how high he got, but it looks like he could have cleared a small building, likely. Not your typical bike jump. There you go. Wow. Good thing he landed feet first. Yeah, belly flop would have been oh, really bad. Oh, your heart would be racing down that hill, though, for sure. We're going to talk about some more water coming up. And, and your heart racing. Yes, and hypnotizing sharks.